Hey everybody, it's Ann and Tom. Where are we, honey? In the tavern. We're in the tavern. And what are we gonna talk about today, dear? <laughs> I don't know, you're usually the one who determines those things. We're gonna talk <laughs> about the tavern. Oh, I guess that's obvious. <laughs> so did you know that taverns were a very important part of early American life? I did know that. What do you know? What do I know? I know that uh, that um, that was where they would go to gather, to socialize, to visit. Mm -hmm. Also, be a place where they would eat. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, a lot of meetings were held there. Important meetings. Mm -hmm. Probably were a few fights. Probably, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a few other things that. Yeah, and other things that, yes. that would happen in it, but not all taverns. No, no, no. no. So, there would be, there would be uh, classy establishments mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. city establishments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, do you know there were country and city taverns? Uh, I heard you talking about it, but I didn't know that. So, you know, because back in the day there weren't hotels. Right. And there weren't restaurants. Right. So it was the tavern where people would get their food and their drink and their beds at night. So uh, in our town here, mm -hmm. was that a country tavern? That would be a country tavern. Okay. Yeah. This was With not a country rooms. tavern. No, this was It had hotel rooms, yeah. yeah. In the town square there. In the town square, they had a country tavern. Yeah. Yeah. And what was the difference between country and city? Well, the country tavern usually was in a home. Okay. So, um, unless it was a city where people went through a lot, you know? Okay. Um, but it was in a home because anybody could have a tavern. Right. Right? If they needed money, they could just rent out some of their rooms. Right. They might They might make you sleep with them in their own bedroom if it was a really small place. Like, a yeah. lot of the taverns, like, say they had two rooms downstairs, and then the family would love upstairs, and they would actually set up beds in the tap room and in the tavern rooms at night so people could sleep. Okay. So there was no such thing as privacy. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know what they drank in a tavern? Well, I'm thinking they drank beer. They drank they beer. Whis whiskey. Mm -hmm. Do you know spruce beer was one of their big flavors? Nope. Didn't know that. They made beer out of almost everything. Well, because anything will ferment if you... Right. Have the right conditions. And it was freak. Yeah, just like they make that hooch stuff in the jail, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> yeah. You need something to drink, you just grab some bread and the scraps of some fruit. A little water and put it in a plastic bag, bag under your bed. Tie it up. <laughs> it'll it'll produce. <laughs> they also drank lots of cider. Now people are gonna think that I've uh no, dear. <laughs> they also drank cider. Cider. Yes. Apple cider. Apple cider, yes. That Which, makes sense. Yeah. Because even though apples were not native to this land when they planted them, they did very well here. Yeah. So they had a surplus of apples, so they always made apple cider, but the apple cider was hard apple cider. Yeah. Yeah. And they drank rum. Okay. So rum was made from molasses. If they didn't have molasses here, they would ship the molasses in from another place, and they would make the rum, and they would ship that out to other places, oh, okay. too. Yeah. That reminds me of the story of the great big molasses tank in Boston that broke and drowned the neighborhood in molasses. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. On yeah. The, I think it was on, uh, might have been on Beacon Hill. Huh. I'm not sure where it was, but it was, no, it was Bunker Hill. Bunker Hill, yes. Yep, yeah, it was on Bunker Hill. Okay, okay. The whole neighborhood was drowned in molasses. So do you know where the term mind your P's and Q's comes from? Nope. The tavern. Your P's and Q's. Your P's and Q's. You're having to go to the bathroom and having to be quiet? No, Tom. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, this is the kind of talk that would happen in a tavern, right? Actually. In a country tavern. There's a lot of talk that would happen in a country tavern. <laughs> but what I'm trying See, I'm to tell country, them. I'm a country tavern. You know, I don't think I really have ADHD. I think it's just being married to you that has caused me to lose my focus. So what were you going to say about P's and Q's? 
So it used to be that if the servers, people would just be drinking and drinking and drinking, right? And yeah. the servers were told to mind their pints and quarts ah. so that they knew how much people were drinking and they knew how much to charge ah. them for. Ah, well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I was wrong in my interpretation. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. pints and quarts. Yep, the word tips also comes from the early tavern because they used to have a box in the corner that said two... To inspire. To inspire. I can't read in these glasses. No. Uh, to inspire. So I'm getting this all from these to books. To inspire this is prosperity? Really... No, not prosperity. To inspire. I love, I love, I kind of like this book. To inspire. Okay, so I can't see. These are reading glasses, old reading glasses. And I can't see either. And you can't see either. Because I don't have my glasses on. We're old. <laughs> we're old? To inspire. According to you, we're aged. <laughs> Tippling. Anyway, I'll tell you in another video. <laughs> <laughs> to inspire something, and it was for you to leave money in there, in the, in the thing, and that became, it was for the servers, so that became tips. To inspire propriety? It was kind of propriety. It might have been propriety, actually. We're going to go with that because that sounds good. Yeah. So a lot of these early, these, these customs that we're doing now did come from back in the tavern. So with those tips, that was a monetary tip, right? Yeah, that was a monetary so tip. So who got it? The, the servers. Oh, okay. The people who served. So some in the country taverns, there was often just one person running the tavern. Right. It would either be, it could be a couple or it could be a widow. Yeah. Um, and that one person would be running the tavern. And that is why we have caged bars over the taverns. Because when they were not behind the tavern where all their precious alcohol was, they closed that cage so that people couldn't get to it. People would actually just reach over and take what they wanted? They would reach over and take what I they wanted. they had more integrity than that. There was no integrity among drunken, <laughs> among drunken people. Among drunken They were the <laughs> same pools. as today? Like if the bartender <laughs> left the bar, it would just... Yeah, like it would today. be all open. But, but now the bartender never leaves the bar. Exactly. But that's where we get the term bar from because they had the bars that came uh, down yeah. over their... Okay. their window and usually the window was in the corner of a room so you would kind of walk over to the corner of the room and get your stuff from the window or the server right. would get their stuff it from the window. It wouldn't take up a whole wall. Right, right, right. See in the city taverns they had a lot more people working they might have right. a server or something right. there and they had a lot more taverns too. Right and they might have a, a longer bar that people would sit by because no. No? They never had a long bar that people would sit by. No? That is not authentic. It was authentic. always tables. Okay. It was always tables because the bar was basically where the transactions took place. Okay. So, like you know. the cash register. Yeah. But the tavern was the center place of all the news in the community. And people would come from all around and they would share news from out there. You know, we didn't have the internet yeah. back then. Yeah. We didn't have our phones where we're plugged into things that are going on. They would have to hear it. Maybe days later, by someone riding through that says, Oh, do you know, such and such place was taken right. over by the, the Redcoats. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's very interesting how the tavern was kind of the mainstay of the community. Now, of course, the church also was considered a mainstay of the community, but the tavern was a little more informal. And sometimes the taverns and the churches were mixed. Like in the Puritan culture, they had to make sure the tavern was right next to the church. So that when they got done with a sermon that made them feel bad, they could go... Exactly. <laughs> but see, they And they would go right from church to the bar? Yeah. To the but, tavern? Yeah, they did. They went right from church to the tavern, and sometimes they didn't make it back to the afternoon service because they had a little too much fun in the tavern. Oh, wow. Yeah, you and this caused a lot of problem fun, with the Puritans. The tavern's more fun than church? I did not say that. I'm just saying it caused a lot of trouble with the Puritans. And, and you know, it's very interesting because they didn't look at their drinks like we look at them. We actually have to intend on drinking an alcoholic beverage, whereas they started yeah, so their just, day. Well, it, was it was just, just their drink. Yes, yes. So, you know. So, 
Yeah. It helped them get through life a lot better. Life was hard back then. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, so they just happened to be thirsty on Sunday. Well, they needed something to eat and drink, yeah. and so, you know, they would go off there. It's kind of interesting, because later when the Blue Laws came in and they closed everything down on Sundays, you know, I wonder when that happened. You know, because then pretty much everything was closed down on Sundays, and, and even when we were growing up, it was frowned upon to go to a restaurant on a Sunday, wasn't it? It wasn't yeah. until we were in our 20s and 30s that it was like, oh, you could go to a restaurant on Sunday, because yeah, you yeah. were making people work on the Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting to watch how the culture changes over time. Yeah. And I think that the tavern has shown that change over many years. So I love our tavern in here. We do some great things in this yes, tavern, we don't do. we? Yep. What do we do in this tavern? We visit with our friends. We visit with our friends. We talk to the camera. I'd rather talk to you. <laughs> we visit with our friends, yes. Well, we haven't done a whole lot of visiting during COVID, to be truthful, but no. we've done some. And oh, family. We'll, we'll eat our meals here. Sometimes we eat our meals in here. Mm -hmm. We will uh, cook our meals. We've cooked our meals. When are we going to do another meal cooking there? I don't know. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Thanksgiving. I was up at 6 o'clock in the morning making the fires. Food wasn't ready till... Three or four. Mm-hmm. Four o'clock. It's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot, lot easier. easier to throw it in the oven. It's a lot easier to throw it in the oven. Cook it on the top of the stove. It takes me yeah. half hour. Yeah. An hour. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tom, this is your chance to tell everybody how much they mean to you. What would you like to say? You didn't tell me I was going to do that. No, of course I didn't. <laughs> We're not live. But I'm not editing this. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm not editing this. You're serious? You didn't, yeah. You're not gonna edit any no, of my dumb comments? No, out? no. If you're gonna be stupid, I want everyone to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's now not you're gonna funny. make me. Now you're gonna make me. You're putting me on the spot. <laughs> we appreciate everyone. <laughs> very, very, very much. And uh, we enjoy doing this. Uh, thank you to everyone who uh, joins in and participates. Um, and we do this for your enjoyment. So we are very happy to do this and we appreciate every one of you. That was very nice. That was very, very nice. See, you're the one that thinks on your feet. I don't. You should have told me ahead of time so that I could have prepared a speech. And maybe brush your teeth too. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you another time. Bye.